Cologne CSD, annually held in a German city, is one of the largest prizes in Europe. On the weekend, around 1 million people join and celebrate the Pride Festival in flashy clothes. <laughs> Luckily, I was in Cologne during the Pride season, so I'm gonna show what this huge festival was like. Let's get started! Cologne is the first largest city in Germany. Situated on the Rhine River, the city is well known for Cologne Cathedral, which is one of the largest Gothic cathedrals in the country. During World War II, 90% of the inner city was destroyed and the city appeared to have been rebuilt quickly. As you walk through Cologne, you can clearly see that it's not the most beautiful city in Germany. However, the beauty of the city isn't so much in the architecture but in the people. They are so friendly, easygoing, and open-minded. The city is also known as the gay capital of Germany along with Berlin, and about 10% of the city's 1.1 million residents identify as LGBTQ. Above all, Cologne CSD is very famous as a huge pride festival, and so many people visit for the parade every year. I was so excited because I had never seen any pride parade before. The parade is held on Sunday, and a lot of events are going on for the whole weekend. This is Cologne's old town, which has a distinctive historical charm. During the Pride weekend, the area is full of performance stages, beer stands, and shops selling a lot of rainbow goods. The festival is already leveling up, but on the next day, the excitement reaches its peak with a huge parade. This year, around 180 LGBTQ groups and music clubs took part in the parade through the city center, which is more than ever before. The organizers said about 1.2 million visitors attended the celebrations. This is the first time in years that Cologne had a pride parade without any COVID restrictions, so I can see that people are hyped up. I really enjoyed my first ever pride with my friends too. The parade was filled with loud music and lots of bubbles. But at the same time, it was a party with a message with groups carrying signs calling for more action on climate change more inclusion of trans and intersex people, and more awareness of people of color in the LGBTQ community. Cologne Gay Pride started during the 1980s as a small Christopher Street day named for the Stonewall riots on Christopher Street in New York City. Within a liberal political culture in former West Germany, the Christopher Street day grew into one of the biggest celebration events in Germany. Today, it's become one of the biggest pride parades in Europe. Because there were so many groups in the parade, it took 45 hours to see them all. 
After the parade, we went to the old town again, which had even more people than yesterday. What I noticed is that this pride was also a celebration of the city itself. A lot of Kalan carnival songs were playing during the pride which everyone from Kalan knows. The local band who performed the last on the main stage has been going strong for over 50 years in Kalan. At the end of the performance, everyone was singing along in the colonial dialect. Everyone was putting their arms around the next person's shoulders, whether they were friends or strangers. It was a very beautiful moment. Although it was a pride parade, I also really felt how warm-hearted people are in Cologne, and I understood why they like their own city so much. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video, bye!